Welcome to Golf Life, a show dedicated to your golf lifestyle. Welcome to Golf Life. As always, I'm Colt, that's Alyssa. Alyssa, we got a beautiful backdrop. Monarch Beach Golf Links, great destination to play golf, but what do we have in the show this month? We introduce you to Kyle Martin and have some fun out on the course with her. We show you how Fat Scooters is changing the game to demonstrate how a fivesome can play in the same amount of time as the standard foursome. As always, we talk to you about ShotScope and their shot tracking technology. Plus, we highlight Rob LeBritz. He's on the Champions Tour about V1 Sports. We highlight the Berez line and the 757 line from Hanma, their driver, their woods, and their hybrids. They're amazing. But first, we went to Portland for the Live Tour. We did it. We went there. We got behind the ropes. Absolutely. It's quite the hot topic these days. So let's go check it out. You know, we've covered all the tours over many, many years, and this one is very different. The format's very different. The money structure is actually giving the players a little more time on their hands, maybe a lot more time on their hands. We're taking you behind the scenes today to find out how it fits in your golf life as a golf fan, because at the end of the day, it is golf, and it is enjoyable with the best players in the world playing on a great golf course. Let's learn more today on Golf Life. Please welcome to the tee, Brooks Kepka. I think the way they set it up, it, it was first class. I was just telling these guys on the way in that it, it looks like a 25-year-old kid set this thing up with the beanbag chairs and a nice little area where you can sit down and have a drink. I mean, it, it's really nice, very inviting, very inviting. I mean, the, the crowds and the people, I mean, and the, well, the golfers, I mean, I've never been closer uh, to these guys. I went to hole 18 where DJ teed off today and he's literally immediate. That's how close it was in the fairway. Yeah. I love it. I don't, I'm not worried about all the rest of the stuff. I just want to watch these guys. They're the best in the world. Uh, it's really wonderful to bring great golfers out here. So I think for me, that wins out a little bit. It does seem like they're having fun. It's fun to watch them play. As a golf fan in the Northwest, we don't get any men's yeah. professional golf. <laughs> So it's, it's a treat to have it out here. You know, the closest we got is the U.S. Open at Chambers, and this is great to see. We're glad they came out here and couldn't be happier. I think it's it's a really fun event. It looks like, you know, some kind of food festival or music or arts festival. It's very fun. It feels young and fresh, but easy and fun, approachable, a good time. You know, I think it's a totally different vibe, you know? It's totally different than the PGA thing, and I think it's a... Uh, I think it's exciting. I think it's kind of a new thing for golf that's totally different. I think, I think it's cool. This is my first golf tournament, and I walked in and it was like, wow, this looks like a party, but also serious. So I, I thought it was really well set up. So far, it's impressive. I like a lot, a lot of young people, a lot, you know. The fan zone is amazing. I think this will bring a unique element to the game. Yeah, my, so far, my favorite team is Brass and Crashers. Let's go. It's been great. It's it's a cool event to kind of change the the way we look at golf. Kind yeah. of making it. I, I like the uh, it's golf but louder. I like that tagline. Yeah. What's really interesting is the team competition, the Smash Golf Club with Kepka. You've got DeChambeau and his Crushers group, Sergio Garcia with the Fireballs. But the two teams that are selling the most, from what we can tell, the High Flyers. Of course, Phil's group and DJ and Pat Perez, well, they're the four aces, and that's a pretty darn good logo. How are these logos and how is this team thing gonna take hold in golf? It's really interesting, but it's starting to move. I think it's great to have an in individual and a team concept because everybody has a chance. You have to finish. You have to, you can't just give up and then walk away. If somebody's 10 over, that putt matters at the end. So it kind of brings more country club feel or your weekend round of golf with your buddies. Yeah. What lid would you be sporting? Well, I love Sergio because just I saw him when he was a young buck, man. So there you go. You're the huh. fireball. I'm the fireball. You're the so fireball. That makes sense. Right. I love it, man. That's great. So, yeah. That's great. We are very impressed with what we've seen so far with Live Golf. And I don't overstate that. We have talked to a lot of people, and they are really having fun. They like the changes. The format seems very fresh. 
The environment is awesome. They've made a shotgun start with 54 holes that people seem to like a lot. The team format is taking hold. You're seeing that from people buying merchandise. All in all, they've done some things that are really interesting and the players seem very relaxed. So far, they've checked off a lot of great boxes with Live Golf. We're having a blast at Live Golf. Let's go out to Monarch Beach Golf Links in Dana Point, California, where we send out multiple combinations of fat scooters and carts to show you that pace of play won't be affected. You know, if I had to choose between a golf cart and the fat caddy, there's no question. I'd ride this all day long. This thing has just been a blast, makes the game a lot more enjoyable. And, uh, you know, it's just another aspect of fun to have on the course. Yeah, I mean, I think my experience was awesome. I mean, it was definitely easier to focus on my own ball, my own game. Um, it was quicker. Um, so pace of play was definitely not a factor compared to usually when you're on a regular course, you're waiting for people, you're waiting for your other, your friends or whoever you're playing with. So yeah, it was awesome. I thought it was, it was really smooth. Um, just the pace of play was rapid. I didn't worry about anyone but myself. It just really kept my head in the game, just having my own ball with me and my gloves with me the whole time. With the Fat Caddy, you can kind of go in places that normal carts you can't. Um, a lot less walking, a lot quicker pace is definitely way more enjoyable. I love that Fat Caddy. That thing was so fun. I don't think you're supposed to have that much fun on the golf course. You can kind of just speed around and have a conversation and just kind of go wherever on the course. It's definitely fun. As far as configuring a fivesome with the fat scooters, I don't see that as a negative. Uh, if anything, it's just gonna be an opportunity to have more enjoyment on the golf course. I mean, you can kind of cruise around in between shots while somebody else is hitting. Uh, they, they're not noisy at all, um, you know, so you're not gonna really hurt anybody's swing. But um, no, I really don't see any negatives to this. I wanna ride a fat again. Here's a special offer from Golf Life. Would you like to try the Claw Glove and save 20% plus free shipping? Head over to clawglove.com and use the code GOLFLIFE right now and you'll save 20% and get free shipping. When we return, we show you how ShotScope is changing the game with their shot tracking technology. And we highlight the Hanma Berez Black and 757 Driver, Fairway Woods, and Hybrids. That's next. Do you want to learn to read greens and understand break more naturally? Get your hands on Level Head. It's a simple bubble level and a ball marker. To use Level Head, you simply place it on the green. If the bubble goes to the left or the right, you are on a side slope and you have a breaking putt. Line up the notches on Level Head toward the hole. Then use a line on your golf ball to line up the bubble. You'll be able to read the break, visualize the line, focus on the speed of your putts. Level Head also helps you practice reading uphill and downhill putts. Once you know the line, you will be much more confident and improve at reading greens. Level Head is lightweight, fits in your bag, can be used as a ball marker during practice rounds. To get Level Head now, head over to ironladgolf.com. Check out their website for current discounts at ironladgolf.com. Companies like ShotScope offer great products, the range finder, the GPS unit, or even the watch. But what they also have is the shot tracking capabilities, and it's amazing for golfers, especially newer golfers to the game. But why is it so important? Shot tracking capability allows golfers to really make better decisions on the course and then target their training off the course for the areas where they need the most improvement. ShotScope technology makes it very easy. All you do is take these black tabs, you put them in your clubs, you sync them to the watch or the Pro LX, and you let them go to work. What's great about it is there's no subscriptions, so you don't have to buy anything extra or anything like that. And when you're done with your round, it uploads to the app or the dashboard on your browser, and you can review all your stats there. The stats like strokes gained, you know, places that you're missing, hundreds and hundreds of different stats that you can look at to better your game. And I've noticed an improvement in my game by using the shot tracking technology, whether I'm making better decisions and club choices on the course, or I'm using my time at the range more efficiently off the course. And other golfers that are using this technology have noticed lower scores as well. Is it hard to use on the course? No, it is not, because you just sync those tabs to, your, to the device, throw your phone in the cart, 
and let those bad boys do the work. Absolutely. So be sure to head on over to ShotScope.com. Make sure you pick up one of their GPS devices like the Watch or the Pro LX and the shot tracking technology. Let's check out the new line of Berez Black and 757 drivers, woods, and hybrids from Honma Golf. Brandon Schupik and myself are gonna take out the 757s and I'm taking out the Berez Black. Let's get to it here on Golf Life. For me, I, I've always loved black on my clubs. Hanma has taken that to a new level. You know, they have matte black finish pretty much all over the golf club. And then there's a little carbon on the back side of this. The look, the feel, the sound, it's all amazing. The Brez Black is a really great design. Um, first of all, they're elegant. So like, for example, if you go to a car lot and you're choosing something like maybe a Lexus or a Jaguar or something really different from the crowd, that's why you might choose the Brez Black. It's gonna stand out. You've got elegance, but beautiful design. First off, I absolutely love the look of it. Also, the sound. That's the first thing I noticed right away was the sound, and that's a big deal for me. Obviously, it performs awesome, and they have the carbon slot technology, which helps with a little bit more pop off the face. The Vizard X-Flex, beautiful shaft. It keeps up with my 120 mile an hour swing speed, uh, which is awesome. Can't ask for much more in a driver. The woods are just as awesome as the driver. They've been known for a long time for being very good with the three woods. They put a lot of effort and research into this one club. The look, the feel, the sound, it's all amazing. It's a beautiful club. The Hanma Black is a game improvement that really performs. Number one, you start with shaft when you talk about Hanma. They make the best shafts in the world. They align the spines correctly. They have craftsmen working there for 35, 40 years. They kind of know what they're doing. The Armark MX shaft is unbelievable, guys. It uses four axis aluminum and six axis carbon. And what that does is it changes the counterbalance and what that will result in is a higher head speed. And that's what we're all looking for out there. They make a very lightweight head that maximizes ball speed and forgiveness across the face. You have the slot that redistributes the weight. You have a new design that really sets up beautiful to the eye and you have performance with this fast pace. So you're gonna get just great ball speed. You've got to head over to Hanma.com and check out the Berez line and the 757 line that we've shown you here on Golf Life today. The Indoor Golf Shop is dedicated to bringing you the very best indoor golf entertainment. Their wide selection of launch monitors and indoor enclosures will transform your space into the place to be. And when you want to bring your game inside, Awesome Golf is the perfect combination of fun and competition. Work on your game at the range and dial in your yardages, get excellent target practice with their fun games, and last but not least, compete against your friends on the course. Download Awesome Golf today at awesome-golf.com. If you're looking to transform a room with the very best equipment, head over to shopindoorgolf.com. On the other side, we go one-on-one -on -one with Champions Tour Pro and V1 Sports athlete Rob LaBritz. For over 15 years, Bat Caddy has been providing electric push carts and technology that inspire golfers of all levels to walk rather than ride. The Bat Caddy XAR is no different. Featuring a fully directional remote control, you'll walk like a pro and connect to your game with every step. The XAR checks all the boxes with nine forward and reverse speeds, downhill speed control, and an oversized dual anti-tip wheel for maximum ease of use and stability. With configurations under 30 pounds and an all-metal construction, the XAR makes setup and ease, resulting in the most reliable and user-friendly electric golf caddy on the market. Since 2004, Bat Caddy has been spearheading the movement of walking and golf in North America, championing the health benefits while eliminating excuses with reliable and affordable technology meant for every golfer. Feel better and play better golf with the XAR by Bat Caddy, the electric golf caddy that works for everyone. Don't go anywhere, because we're on the back nine with Golf Life when we return. Now let's chat with Rob LaBritz and his experience with V1 Sports, both as a player and a coach. Hey, joining us here on Golf Life is Rob LaBritz. He's the director of golf at the Glen Arbor Golf Club. He's a member of the Champions Tour and is a V1 Sports athlete. Rob, appreciate you joining us. What's kind of unique about your story is that 
obviously you're a PGA professional, uh, but now you're playing on the Champions Tour. Talk about that experience. Yeah, I mean, it was one of those things where I had to kind of just do, you know, everything that I had to do to, to stay in the game of golf and stay close to it uh, so I could obtain that goal of playing full time. Uh, it was always sort of in the back of my mind to, uh, you know, to kind of, I always wanted to hone my skills enough to, to be able to make a living doing it. Um, and that was kind of always the driving force behind it. As a PGA member, I was introduced to the game. We got to teach it a lot. Got to got to grow the game. Got to grow clubs. Got to be around it. So, you know, immerse myself with the, with the teaching aspects, the growing the business part of it. You know, finally made it to you know Q school um, when I turned fifty and kept my body in shape. Used the V1 software since I think the year two thousand and in the thousands and thousands of lessons that I've taught. Uh, and even the self videos that I've used uh, between myself and my coaches. So, you as a coach, and then you as a student, how are you using V1 Sports? Whether it's the V1 Golf app or the other pressure mat. Yeah, so uh, so I use V1, you know, daily in the bays at Glen Arbor. Um, you know, anytime I'm trying to uh, show students, uh, you know, you know, just kind of what I need them to do or what it looks like in two dimensions, uh, I like to show them uh, side by side. Been using the V1 for years. Um, and then uh, for myself, you know, I just kind of keep track of my lines all the time. I want to set up the same every time. Great part about it is you can take it anywhere with you. Uh, you travel with it, you got your V1 app. If you, you want to show your students, you want to get in depth about it, then you got to use that V1 app. And the V1 uh, app is just it's such an easy thing to do. Rob, V1 Sports has a lot of applications the V1 game, V1 golf, and the pressure mat. What advice would you give those people who may not know or not using those applications? Yeah, well, first of all, I mean, go find yourself an instructor. Uh, and then, you know, it would be good to go find yourself a V1 instructor. <laughs> and then once you find yourself, uh, those two, they go hand in hand. There's a lot of brilliant ones across the country. Make sure that you download that V1 app, the V1 golf app, and then make sure you have ha that instructor is an instructor that wants to do some video lessons with you and is passionate about it. And you will have a great time talking about ground forces and drawing lines and doing all sorts of stuff and learning about your golf swing. Well, Rob, we appreciate you joining us. Ah, thank you very much. The V1 Golf app is a swing analysis tool that helps you capture, import, analyze, and is the best app to receive video lessons from an instructor you're working with. The V1 Golf Plus will offer you a wide selection of analysis tools like an extensive model swing library from the PGA Tour, LPGA, and more. Overlay two videos for a better comparison experience and slow down your swing frame by frame. V1 Sports, improvement starts here. Robert Graham and Callaway Apparel have an awesome selection for your next round. Let's go check them out. We're back at Monarch Beach. Colton, we're looking pretty styling here. Yes, we are. We got shirts to show you from a couple companies. First off, Callaway Apparel. What do you think about these guys? We've been with them for a long time. Yeah, you know, they've been a, a great partner of ours and they've provided their clothing for us. And you know, the, the comfort that they have has always been amazing. But what I really like about it is the longevity of these clothes, yeah. right? We've been wearing them season after season. They haven't worn and they look great. They look great. And this new spring style is tremendous. But the fall line, we live in Colorado, and even here by the beach, you need that pullover, and they just kill it yeah. with their pullovers. And they have every type of lightweight material to the warmer stuff. You can layer really well with Callaway Apparel. Um, so style and function, but we're gonna show them some other types of polos here in a minute. Robert Graham. So Colton, this is some uh, flash. Yeah, I'm bringing good. Paisley back. That's Paisley I'm is Paisley back. back. You know what's interesting about Robert Graham is that they have bold fashions, but they look so good on. And when you look at the Robert Graham textures and styles, at first you're like, hmm, but then they look so good yeah, on, do. don't they? Yeah. What I really love about them is they look good on the golf course, yeah. but they're also going to look great out on the town. Yeah. You know, walking around the town, going to a restaurant with your family, whatever, it, right. whatever it is, you're gonna look great doing it, and it's all because of Robert Graham. And, and that's the thing about Robert Graham is they can take it to the course, and it's definitely a performance line. Maybe not as much performance options as Callaway Apparel, so that's why you want to look at both brands. But definitely, they have a lot of 
around the town stuff, a lot of dress it up stuff, and a, and a lot of options. If you like what we've shown you today on Golf Life with the various brands that we have, head over to CallawayApparel.com or if you want to bring Paisley back, robertgram.us. Don't go anywhere because when we return, we get to know social media influencer Carol Martin and we have a little fun with a closest to the pin challenge at Monarch Beach. That Golfers, do you suffer from constantly buying new golf gloves? All the time. Does your golf glove get sweaty, crusty, or torn? Over and over again. The innovative new claw glove might be for you. With multiple styles for men and women, the claw will outlast, play cooler, and grip better than traditional leather gloves. Use code TVOFFER and save 20%. Side effects may include more greens hit and in some cases, shooting your lowest round. I have the power to lower my score with Claw Glove. Save 20% today with code TVOFFER at clawglove.com. Now, let's go one-on-one -on -one with social media influencer, Carol Martin. I'm here with Carol. We're having her as a special guest on the show this month. We're so happy to have you. Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. It's been an awesome experience for sure. <laughs> right? Uh, so tell us about your golf life. A little bit about my golf life. All right, uh, my putting's terrible. I can get off the tee. No, I'm just kidding. Um, a golf, uh, golf has been a big part of my upbringing. I started at the age of 12. Uh, my big brother started first, and I kind of just followed his footsteps. Whatever he did, I wanted to do too. And my love for the game kind of just kept growing, and it's still growing every day. That's right. I see you get out on the course with your family quite a bit, yeah. and you have a son, right? Does he like to play? Do you get out with him? He does. He plays with me quite a bit. Um, I'm ashamed to admit that he can outdrive me sometimes, <laughs> you know? It, it's just... No, he, he's awesome. It's a lot of fun being able to do that with my son, and I hope that his love for the game continues with me. You know, it's, it'll be fun. So now let's do a, quick, a little rapid fire. I'll okay. get to know you, put you on your toes. Okay, uh, dream foursome. Dream foursome. Uh, easy. John Daly, Nelly Corda. If I can bring him back, Ben Hogan. Very cool. Okay, um, bucket list golf course. Bucket list. Um, just to say that I did it, like, Pebble? I yeah. guess I would go with that. It's yeah. amazing. I played there recently, and it, I was just in awe the entire day. It's a special experience for sure. Okay, um, favorite club in your bag? Favorite club in my bag. Um, it's That's a tough one. Um, I love my rescue. My four hybrid never lets me down. Uh, let's see. The other one would be my, my seven iron. I'm not mad at that one. Yeah, yeah. that's a good club. That's a good go-to. Okay, and last but not least, 19th hole cocktail. Tequila every time. Keep <laughs> it simple. Up. Straight up. <laughs> Don't, none of that margarita. No, gracias. Dame la tequila. Vámonos. <laughs> How is golf involved in your daily life and career? So I've been a professional model for the last 12 years of my life. Um, with a strong fitness background, I've been able to fit golf into that world. And I love creating content where I can relate to your everyday golfer. And also I can relate to the golfer that likes to go to the, the nice clubs. You know, I like to keep my content relatable. And if you like a good laugh or you like to check out a nice course, I tend to travel and, and vlog the courses I go to and give you a breakfast burrito uh, review at the same time. <laughs> Who doesn't yeah. love I love breakfast burritos. I mean, if a golf course doesn't have it, I might not play there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, golf courses. Make sure you got breakfast burritos. <laughs> um, well, that's awesome. We are fans, and we will be following you along on your journey. So. And thanks for, thanks for joining us. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Alyssa, I think we introduced Carol to little host v. host versus Carol action. There we go. Par three challenge, closest to the pin. You need to make a par to win. You ready? Let's go. Not ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That should. Get That's there. gonna go over. Oh, I'm a little far away, but I'm dancing. Hey. Mm. Oh. oh, going right Money. at it. Money, huh, Alyssa? Out for blood. Get off. Ooh. Ooh, <laughs> That's okay. still a good shot, That's though. Good. Okay. Thank you. So based on the rules, Colton, you're the only one on the green, so you kind of win but you have to make a par. So we're gonna play out the hole, and you know, if you don't, it's up for grabs. I got a little to zero confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched you putt, I believe you. That was nice. Mm. That was pretty good, a lot of meat on that ball. It was. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I'd be lucky if I get away with a bogey. You can make that. You have it surrounded. Yep. Give it to me. Carol Baskin! <laughs> yes! Great putt. For the win. Colton Little. What? For the win. You sucked yourself out yeah, of this that was, uh, from the beginning. I mean, you did say you were trash at putting, so. Nicely done. Pars for the girls or what? Pars for the girls. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to go to the cart. I'm just going to go. I'm going to hug it out. I'm going to hug it out. There we go. We can't mess that one up. Thanks for watching Golf Life. Be sure to visit us at golflife.com for more golf content and check us out on social media for daily videos and reviews. And we'll see you next round.